MMRC is currently working on the building of frames for MML3 and has also begun the process of sleeper casting for the scene. Uh, we are in a very advanced stage of the track work. We have completed all the design of the track and after completion of the design, the main activity is of welding, which we have also started. Second main activity of the laying of the track is the casting of the sleeper, which is a very special sleeper for us. So we have already established a depot at our sleeper casting depot at Vadala and we have already started the casting of sleeper. Let us outline the use and making of a booted sleeper. The rail is mounted with a concrete sleeper which is encased in resilient boots and recessed into a concrete slab. The primary function of a sleeper is to grip the rail to gauge and to distribute the rail load to the formation with acceptable induced pressure. Let us understand how a sleeper is made through the casting process. A casting yard refers to a confined place where all kinds of concrete structures are molded for required purposes. A booted sleeper is made of three items. One, concrete block. Two, resilient pad. And three, rubber boot. We have a special imported machine for casting of twin booted sleeper from Switzerland. And we have installed the machine at our Vadala yard. And sleeper is the first component which is getting manufactured. A sleeper is molded via a machine called the casting machine. The casting machine is equipped with two molds, two filling hoppers and two belt feeders for providing the concrete to each mold individually. With the help of a moving belt feeder, concrete is poured in the molds. With the help of vibrators fitted at the bottom of the steel mold, the vibration will be taken care of. After the casting is done, the block will be over the steel board for 14 hours for initial strength. After fixing the fastenings into the blocks, the framing of the steel frames will be done by a plastic hammer after lifting the blocks. The rubber boot with resilience pad inside will be pulled tightly around the finished base of the block. Horizontally, grey tape will be applied around the boot to avoid any dirt or water entering the boot. Vertically, the tape will be applied to avoid the falling off of the boot from the block. The system provides a high vibration attenuation, a high performance which now in our days getting more and more crucial in the mega cities as more and more people are affected due to vibration, to noise and we have to find a solution to minimize these aspects. After complete assembling, booted blocks will be stacked on wooden pallets and will be covered with shrinking foil to prevent UV damage to premature degradation of strapping tape and water or dust pollution. It is now that the sleepers will be fixed along the lines of the rail as a ground-borne noise and vibration absorber without affecting the integrity of the rails. Uh, this type of technology is not used in India but this is a tested technology all over the world. We are using a very best technology, very comfortable for the movement of the passenger also. We are fully confidence that we will get a very high quality of trash structure in our system.